He let on the spawn flag. For those of you who are watching this at home, this is how you play Domination on Sovereign. 30 to 17, they're walking away we with Yowza, racking up the kills. He's six for two at the moment. Two of his team members are oh. down at the moment, oh. and we do see the players at the bottom of this map trying to rotate around and get the flank on these guys from Storm. We're, still, we're with uh, Claw from Team Plantronics Envy at the moment. He's scoping things out towards the uh, the left side of the map near this C flag. Now, there is a bit of a contest happening at the moment. Gets the one kill. There is another player down there not to be spotted. Shots went out. He knows he's there. Going to try and take him out. Jumps down. Risky play. Play. Knows the player's there, doesn't get, he does get spotted. Fake getting the kill there on Claw, getting the two piece as well, dropping mental in the background. We're with Malji as he gets dropped by Friends. And we're gonna cross to him as he got the two piece. Eight for three he goes before being taken down. Unfortunately, Malji not having a great start. Zero and nine for himself at the at this very opening heart, or quarter rather of this map. You don't actually see that often to be two and a half minutes in and yet to, to actually get a kill. As I say that he's zero and ten but he's managed to get those points from the caps. And you see here, Team Storm, you know, they had a triple cap at one point. They're able to just pick off these kills. You see Varenza getting an easy double kill for himself and preaming the third one. Unfortunately, not being able to get that one. Malji picks off his first kill of the game as they tried to push forward, but it's just not really happening for them. And, and the Team Plantronics Envy, I hate to say it, but they're, they're just getting destroyed. It's all right, my boy Malji. I still love you as you get taken down by fate. <coughs> Excuse me, by fate. And, uh, you, you know, you're going to be seeing the triple cap once again happening for the team Storm side. Yells being able to actually push on down, pick off one. Still just trying to hold them off from getting that ace flag. He's actually run out of ammo. That's how much pressure he was putting on them. But he does get taken down in the end. Verenzen now, last one up for a moment as a team Storm respawn. And the excitement obviously caught up in my throat there as we see Verenzen get another kill on Malji. So that's two down for Envy at the moment. Storm just conquering this map in game type right now. Still in control of B and C as they have been the entire time. As I've said that though, we do see from Plantronix Envy, Claw turning at the worst time possible. That's called timing at its prime. Mental now going to be running in. Knows the players around there. Sloppy shots, but does get the kill. There's another player rushing in there. So this B, hotly contested, but it's got, it could go either way right now. However, this is Fate from Team Storm in control. So B and C still with uh, Storm. You're going to be seeing Mental being sorry, coming off the respawn. Actually, the whole Plantronics every side, all the players I want to sort of jump on board with did get taken down. But 89 points to 38, and there's 55 seconds in the first half. That's still with the second half to come. And with that dominating performance from Storm so far, I mean, you'd hate to be Plantronics every right now. You'd hate to be Malji at the moment. Two for 16. My man's just been taken down left, right, and center. He's taken it for the team figuratively and literally. And as I say, that claw gets dropped. So that's two down for Envy. We're with Fergs at the moment. Getting the nice kill on Fate. Spots the player. He might be around the corner. Yes, oh. gets the one, but then dropped by Swifty very quickly in return. You see Swifty just holding over this B side. Picks off a nice kill outside of server. As one's going to be coming through, Zig will be able to try and clean him up as well. One more is there. He knows that he'll take him down. That's a nice couple of kills there for him as his teammates just pushing up to secure that area. And once again, Envy are faced with the situation that they're just being backed off over into their small flag. But with 10 seconds left in the half, there's really not much they can do. And Storm will end this game up with, with a huge deficit. 109 points to 40, no, 111 to 49 here after that first half and it's 62 points. That was a whitewash and obviously the team of Plantronics Envy really need to step it up here as we see Fate getting the solid kill cam here at the end. He was almost taken down but he was able to get it. Some nice work and as I said 62 points the difference at the half. These guys really need to step it up but look at that scoreline for Mauji. 3 for 19. My poor friend he's under the pressure of the inaugural Call of Duty Ghost League here at ACL but look he's going to be stepping up now throwing down the trophy. He's going to be taking a early into this second half but the guys from Envy they have a long way to come back. It is still possible though and that's what Envy going to be relying on that they can still catch back up. A play from Storm going to be up on Nesty. He was expecting that perfectly mental. was able to take him down even though they got stunned. Able to get that B flag and that's what they needed that early flag possession and now they just need to hold it. You see Mental he jumps straight down into underground. He's able to climb up the ladder pick off the kill and he could might even go back down but he knows there's a player going to be coming. Took out his teammate. Unfortunately he was Bowgy once again but he's just waiting in that B flag is still alive. Unfortunately, they're losing A at the same time. 
Oh, and now that's a stun to your face, and that's Fate getting the double there. Some nice work. Yowza are taking down Malji in the background. Ferg's the only one alive for Envy. And as I'm saying that, of course, Storm did have control of two flags. We're with Ferg's at the moment, and then crossing over to Fate as he did take control of V. So A and B in control of Storm, but it's going all over the place. Three members of Envy at B at the moment. I feel a bit great coming. Yeah, well, the, all four members from Team Storm got taken down there in that contest. Now it's up to Envy to just keep them back over on A and try and make something happen. One player drops for Envy, three drop for Team Storm as Mauji's picking off a couple of kills now. He looks for another one. He'll be able to take that one down as well. With three minutes 40 remaining, 129 to 70 being the score difference. They're going to need to have to get that neutralization on A or at least push for that triple cap to even have a possibility of catching back up in the series. Because, I mean, even holding that two, it's great, but it's just not going to be enough at this stage. That's 100% right. As you said, Mike, so they really need to make some magic happen right now. They are in control of two flags at the moment, but I am just seeing on the minimap with seeing the guys from Team Storm contesting this B flag and it looks like they might be able to gain control. Malji still stinking, getting kicked. 5 for 23 at the moment. He's uh, hopefully going to be able to pull out some magic with, with Yowza at the moment we were as he was trying to uh, get that flag. He is going to secure that A flag. So that's A and B in control of Storm. 137 to 81. Envy did claw back a little bit, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. It's still in there, but only just. With Storm get regaining control of that two flag advantage, and, and I mean, just being able to hold over players. You don't see a lot of players wait back around over on A, but because he saw that player, it was just the, you know what, we'll wait. We'll see if he pushes down. He did. He was able to pick off that easy kill because he knew exactly where it would come from. And you see now they're trying to push in once again, but the players are just in position. Even though they're dying, you know there's another player there. As you can see, Varenza just jumping off from Nest, picking off the kill, and being able to just keep that B flag into their position. They don't want to lose another flag here. No, they don't. That was just too easy for Varenza, and he's going to be clawing back up here. Finds a player in there. He's going to be taken down by a mental. Ferg's going, uh, taking Swifty down in the background as well. That's three down for Storm at the moment, and this was the chance for Envy to make a move, and we do see them in control of B and C at the moment. Now, all they have to do, as you've said before, they need to play the contain game. They just need to set up nicely after after they're in control of those two flags. They did an all right job for a little while there, but we can see on the minimap there's a player flanking around the bat, and he does get the kill. That's going to be Yowza moving over to C. There is a player from uh, the team of Plantronics Envy moving back over that way to try and get control of it. Mauji and Fate both getting kills on Yowza and Fergs respectively. Fate being dropped as well. 160 to 103 the scoreline. I don't think they're coming back. I think that's just basically the, na the final nail in the coffin for, for the Envy side because the Storm just have this one in the bad. They had it from the second the map started. Able to get that early control over on B in that first half. And even in the second half, they didn't get the first touch of B. But they, you see now that scroll line still hasn't really gotten any any closer for, for Envy. And with 1 minute 15 remaining, there just isn't enough time for you know them to, to really come back in, in a strong fashion. Yeah, that's 100% right. And they still get in drop left, right and center. Storm playing so strong at the moment. As we're just looking at those KDs, you know, they're fairly even. But look, 26 for 18 from Swifty. 25 for 19 from Yaz and 20 for 14 Brenzen. They're going really huge at the moment. We've only just under a minute left. 173 to 118. Nice shots on there by Claw. He gets the Ooh. assist, but that's a little bit of team fire as well. He's feeling hot. See, look, at least they've still got energy. They know yeah. that this game is probably going to go, go to go. Well, they are, it is going to be going Storm's way. But look, obviously, they're going to be trying to carry at least some momentum through to our second game. So Claw getting the nice two-piece there. Going for three. Not getting it, though. He's going to try and get B. Secure a little bit of dignity for his team here at the end. But with less than 30 seconds, this was all Storm's game. And of course, you've got to keep in mind that these teams, they've played each other before. Whether it's just scrims or actual tournament matches, that they have, they, they have experienced Team Storm's domination on domination. So they know you know what, okay, let's, we might not be able to win these nominations as convincingly as we might like. Let's just focus on the SDs, take out a blitz, and the series is ours. What you did there, I saw it. And we're seeing Fate in the final seconds of this match. He's going to try and get one of these final kills. Does get the kill there on Ferg's. Look at the other player, doesn't get it, but it looks like he will get the kill cam. Fate on Ferg's there. Final score line 191 to 121. What a dominating way to start off the ACL Call of Duty League. Here with Plantronics Envy versus Storm. Storm just too strong, Mike stuff. They really were, and you always want to be that team who takes out the first map in a series because it just gives you that sort of a little bit of an advantage, you know, that momentum swing in your favor. And
you know, coming into this next map, you had 28 kills, 27 kills for the teams uh, for the team Storm side, and being able to carry that over, you know, into that single spawn, you know, S and D environment will definitely be crucial. But Envy, you know, we've seen them play pretty big on S and D themselves, so it's all about them to just change things up, mix things, you know, mix things up, and, and bring back a map to tie up the series and and sort of lose that advantage that Storm had. Yeah, well, we definitely can't underestimate Envy, our fourth seed and fourth place team from ACL Sydney. And uh, I just want to quickly say for uh, the team of Storm, Vranzen played really, really well. Like, yeah. um, for a sub, he really helped his team out there to obviously clutch that win. Now, guys, up next, <coughs> please excuse me, up next, we're going to be having S&D on Warhawk. I'm in Maniac, joined by Mike Star. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.